Hello and welcome to Jamie's Motion Graphics episode 20. Today we are making this. All of this has been made in After Effects and all of this has been made from scratch. I will show you step by step how you can make it yourself. Okay, here we are in After Effects. We are going to start off with a new composition, but I already made one. It's 30 seconds long, uh, 720 by 1280. And um, we're going to just start off with some uh, some lettering, because that is what we're going to wipe on. Uh, we don't really need a background. It's going to be transparent anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so the, we're going to just put on some letters and be done with it. There you go, uh, we're going to line that up a little bit. It doesn't really matter where it is, it's just for, well, division, obviously. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go to our effects and preset and select a linear wipe. So linear wipe is uh, the effect that actually does, well, this, uh, let me think complete, that, that's what it does. So it just linearly wipes the entire screen. So we're going to set this to 45, well, minus 45 degrees, which means that now it's going to come from the uh, from the bottom, I believe. Oh, hang on, we need to do it like this. Yeah, so this one is, is, is going to wipe on the text. Now we're going to put another one on here. And that one is going to wipe off the text from the other direction. So 135 degrees, just because we want 180 degrees between them. And then we're going to feather it out, both of them by 75 pixels. Uh, we will see later why that is, but um, yeah, I just want to have all my uh, all my stuff in here. So currently it does absolutely nothing, which is exactly what we wanted. So um, yeah, that sounds a little bit strange, but that is the way it is. So we're going to um, modify the uh, transition complete uh, well, expression. So just alt click on the stopwatch and you will get it over here. And we're going to type in uh, 100 times time minus 11. So the 11 is just to make a distance between this wipe and the other wipe. And we're going to do the same with this one. Well, different expression, of course. 100 minus 100 times time. And that should do it. So, um, oh, that's the wrong enter key. So what we have now is this. We have the first one. Uh, so this one is this one. And the other one is this one. So basically, we wipe on the letters from top to bottom first. It may actually be this one. I don't know. Um, we wipe on the letters from top to bottom, and then we wipe them off again. So we get this little ridge here. And we're going to make sure that that is as bright as possible. So we actually get a nice effect in it. So let's uh, let's take something. By the way, this is why you feather it. If you put this out, yeah. So this the, the second one is actually the last one. It kind of makes sense. But yeah, this would look terrible because it wouldn't fit into the the letters. You want to fade it in a little bit, and that's why we have 75 pixels of feather. So we actually get a little bit of glow around the edges and things like that. Um, yeah, we're going to tint it. A tint is uh, one of those coloring tools. You have a few of them, so you can basically choose. You can also go for curves if you want to. We're going to map the black to some kind of yellow. I guess something like this. Be a little bit brighter. That's a little bit too much. It has to be kind of a, a nice bright color. And we're going to map the white to something similar, but different. Um, don't really know. Yeah, as long as it's it's bright, so the end is going to be bright, it's all good. You can also go for curves, as I said. So curves. There you go. I'll put uh, turn off the tint, and now you can see that. Uh, well, you can, for example, just do this, and then will automatically brighten up. The advantage of this one is that it actually has multiple colors. So like you get colors for every single tint of uh, gray that there is. Shade, I guess. And yeah, you can set this to whatever you want. Obviously, this has too much blue in it, and that's why it turns out purp uh, pink. But yeah, here, you can set it to a similar color, and it will just work out. The difference between the two is this one actually has better fading properties, but yeah, well. Uh, whatever you choose, 
So the curves has better fading properties. Whatever you choose, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for tint. And we're going to go into our next layer. So we're going to just duplicate this one. Control D or edit. Oh, duplicate. There it is. And we're going to change the values a little bit. This is going to be our middle part, which means that um, our transition complete. So hit U for all of your expressions and such. And the middle part is going to be a little bit different because it needs to do the same thing. So oh, let me hit this one as well, hit U. And now we're going to link this one to this one. And we're going to link this one to this one. It's fairly easy. This is just a parenting tool. It just says what it's going to do. So it's going to follow the other one exactly. Well, we don't want it to follow exactly. We just want it to follow plus three. And here also plus three. And what that will do is once we change the properties here, uh, we're going to set these to white because we want it to be as bright as possible. And there's nothing brighter than white. So I apparently am in the wrong layer. Um, we want the top layer to be white, of course. That's the new one. And you can see what's happening. The middle part is lighting up now. So, and this is where your fading properties really don't matter anymore because, well, the, the edges are kind of feathered out by this one. And yeah, so the fading doesn't really matter. I'm going to set this to 25, I guess. Um, we can always change it later. I think 25 should be enough. We want a nice bright middle. And to brighten that up even more, we're going to add a glow to it because glow is how you get these extreme effects, these extreme colors basically. And we're going to set this to zero so that it uh, always glows. So the glow threshold is which colors should actually glow. Well, we want everything to glow, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to set this to 24. Uh, you can you can play around with it, and I'm going to set this to 2. So it's, it becomes really bright, which is exactly the way we want it. And then we can do one more thing. The glow colors we're going to set to the A and B colors, and you can see that that brightens it up even more, even so bright that it's maybe a little bit too bright. And that is where you, uh, you can edit your colors if you want to. I personally like it. So I like that it's uh, like super bright, and it appears to be too bright for the screen to handle and yeah well it's 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 all up to you of course so that's because my color a is set to white we can set this one to white as well to make it even more ridiculous we can also say well we want some red in there just for the the contrast and well this is basically our glow effect so what it does is if we play it here it is um, hopefully there you go it uh, it will take a while I'll play it back in a moment once it's done and then we can see it at full speed so that's uh, this is what it does so it kind of just goes over the text and just shows you part of the text and um, well just makes it glow we want the colors to be a little bit brighter but we can uh, we can do that afterwards also don't really like the red in it uh, I think I'll just make that one more white making it a little more like flashy. Okay, um, to make something out of this then, we want to just make a new composition and put in our comp5 in this case. So just go to your project, drag in comp5, and there you have it. So currently, this is only this. So yeah, here it ends. That's what it is. So let's drag this to uh, one second. Um, yeah, so one second and then it's it's done, but it doesn't leave anything behind. It doesn't do anything. So we can actually just take this, uh, this layer from the previous composition, paste it in here, uh, put it underneath this one and remove whatever we put on there. So currently three effects, just delete them. And it's back to its original thing. So we can set curves if we want to change the color. So let's uh, make this into like a less bright version. And then um, let's make it blue, I don't know. You can, uh, you can tint it a little bit. I guess some green in there would be nice. 
And now if we play it, it will play on top of our thing. Of course, these color combinations are terrible, but you can see the effect. It now has a logo, and we now wipe the entire thing over it. Of course, it would work best if you um, if you ha just have this uh, this very low key thing. So if it, if it's not too bright, then yeah, of course it will just look better. Oh, hang on. We need to get back to the front, and there you go. So it looks better the the darker your logo is. So if we actually go back to um, to our text tool here, character. And we just change them instead of this. We change them to uh, to black with a white outline or something like that. It would actually look a little more alive. And let's see. It doesn't have to be completely white. It doesn't have to be completely black. It's just that if it's dark, it will just look better. And I guess that will do. Um, yeah, of course you can make a background behind this. So let's. Um, Let's make a new solid. I'm just going to make a plain solid in this case, just because we can. It, we don't really need anything fancy, to be honest. And here, it will still only display on the text if everything goes well. Well, we have to start at zero. So it will only display on the text no matter what the background is and of course the darker the text the better it is because darker text will glow more appear to glow more it's a very simple effect but you can do some nice tricks with it and that's why i have these so here i did make a background with dark letters and it is just going to look differently so i had a little bit different colors here as you can see there is a little bit of red in this one um, i can actually show you the colors um, so yeah, we have an extra curve adjustment here. So we um, we have some red in here, I guess. Yeah, so red, less green, and less blue. But yeah, you can play around with the colors by just throwing on an extra tint effect to make it black and white again, and then putting on colors just so it matches a little bit better. And of course, we have our original comp, which is yellow as well. So same deal, exactly the same uh, things put in here. And then we have one other one, which is this one then? No? I don't know. Don't know which one it's supposed to be. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. So here we start with no text. And then we wipe on the text with our glow effect. And it kind of looks nice because it's dark text. It's also a dark background. But you can do it with a light background as well. I mean, if you're saying like, okay, we want this to be... Uh, to be a little bit brighter, you can just pop on uh, one of the curve adjustments and just make it brighter. And you will see that it changes how the effect looks, but it won't be ugly or something like that. I mean, it will still look good. Because the letters are dark, it will still look good. So the thing that you want to do for this wipe on is you want to edit your, your expression here to 100 minus 100 times time plus 11, which means that it's the, the wipe, so the wipe that this one makes, let me see, is right here. So just there. And it's also feathered out. So if you, um, if you look what it actually does, so let's uh, remove the minus, uh, the plus 11. So that's what it does if you just do 100 minus 100 times time. And we want that to be a little bit, well, moved up and, well, you can do the plus five and then you still see part of the letter. What I wanted is to be exactly in the middle of this white thing. So I just tuned the values, oh, sorry. I just tuned the values until I was in the middle of that, uh, that thing. You couldn't see the letters before they actually turned white. And that's just the way it is. That's, that's how easy it, it is to modify. And of course you can wipe them off in the same way, you just have to reverse the direction and then you can wipe off the text in a similar way. So it should be easy enough. I, um, I hope you can use this, uh, this, this effect. I would really like to see people use it. And um, yeah, if you have something to show, then uh, please show it to me. Put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.